some turtles here that are very popular pets. You'll see them for sale on at the show here. This is a uh, yellow-bellied slider, and it's one of the most common uh, turtles in the hobby, but it's also very abundant in the wild where it lives. It naturally comes down into the peninsula of North Florida, but now we see sliders of various kinds all over the place because people have released their pets when they got too big. And the red-eared slider uh, is one that now we're not allowed to keep anymore in Florida because too many people released them into the wild where they weren't supposed to be. So that's a lesson. If you want a pet, you've got to understand what it requires and how big it's going to get. If you release these into the wild, a lot of times we get more restrictive laws where they won't let us keep the animals that we want to keep. So a red-eared slider is an example of that. Uh, too many people released them, now we can't keep them. The yellow bellies are still legal to keep. Now, a lot of people recognize what a yellow belly slider looks like. Here's one that's just a little bit bigger. You can see it has that yellow patch on the side of the head, and it's got yellow on its belly. Not completely yellow there. But a lot of people don't recognize this one here. Believe it or not, this is also a yellow-bellied slider. But as they get bigger, a lot of times they turn melanistic. That means that they have a lot of black coloration or black pigment. So this is a, a uh, coloration that we see in sliders all over. You'll see this in red-eared sliders too. It's probably the most commonly misidentified turtle. If somebody emails me a picture of a turtle and they're like, I have no idea what this is, or they're calling it something, they're saying this looks like some crazy turtle from Asia or something, uh, so often it's one of these. It's a melanistic slider. So this turtle's lost almost all color and just turned kind of a dark gray and black. And they do get bigger than this. They can get around that or so, usually around a